A small wooden house, huh? Modest. It smells kind of like, like vegetables. Well, it is a farmhouse after all. Needs a trim. Can you use me? No, you destroy the entire thing. Wow, this is cute. A stuffed animal even in a rundown place like this. It must cherish that child. Arthur, Arthur, lean down. Huh? Okay. Mmm, flowers do smell nice. You're using my nose? Why are you knocking the barrel? Mm, there's something pickling in here. Probably for the winter. It's scary how you can tell these things. I'm telling you, it's just experience. Probably a laundry basket. You're not going to check inside it? I'm thinking. This place belongs to an elderly farmer couple with a small child. And you feel bad stealing from them? No, it brings bad omens if you steal from that specific spectrum. You have such a strange belief in things. I'm talking from experience. Hmm. A bag of gold. This is a bag of grains. Golden grains. Oh, it's half finished. Maybe the old woman got tired of chopping it halfway and is taking a break. Arthur, you're chopping it? There, now it's done. You're unsuspectingly nice sometimes. It's not out of good faith. I just dislike unfinished business. Yeah, yeah, sure. Believe me. What is this lumpy thing? This is a potato. The superior food. More superior than apples. How dare you pit two great foods against each other like that. <laughs> this house reminds me of my past somewhat. It's kind of gross. Why is that gross? This thing's been used constantly. I wonder how many people lived here. From their food storage, I'm willing to bet it's three. There's a child, too. You can tell just from the food storage? What? You see it, too? We share the same pair of eyes. Of course I see it, too. That tea changed color. Maybe it's just the light? It changed again to pink. What tea is pink? This is freaky. Let's just go. Uh oh. Hmm. Hydration. Ugh. She's reaching folk for you, Arthur. I think she's mistaking me for someone. Apple! Does she want an apple? I have green apples. Should I give her an apple? Yeah. Yeah, fine. Here's a green apple for you. Give a green apple to the old woman. Oh, thank you, boy. Huh? You can speak coherently? I've not seen Isle yet. I don't like to involve myself with selfish people being the farmer's wife and all. You seem to be in need of the apple more than me. Have this instead. You received a golden apple. What? The apple is shining. It's enchanted, of course. The great sage Rye lives near us. You're giving this to me? Why, yes, I like you. You're the type to behave unseemly, but your heart is in the right place. I, I'm i not. You even helped me by chopping my carrot back there. Thank you, boy. You saw that? I didn't, but I could hear my chopping board. You have a kind heart. N no, I don't. It's just... Uh... <laughs> Take my apple, my boy. Use it, sell it, do whatever you like with it. Send my regards to say dry soon. Huh? Uh, thanks. What did she mean by sending regards to say dry? Who cares about that? Look at this glowing golden apple. Arthur, your tunnel vision is astounding. Looks like a farm. Oh, let's go. No, it's too boring to go to a stupid farm full of vegetables. Who likes vegetables? What in the... Truly, this building does not look like it belongs in this town's seaport aesthetics. Doesn't even match the stone tiles. I am offended. <laughs> Should we go in it to mock the design further? I swear if the inside is made of wood when the walls clearly are made of stone, I will lose it. A bucket. Smash it. Uh, Arthur! So, 
last time, I was able to sneak into the graveyard before. But I can't get past these flowers now. I climbed the vines and got over there to the graveyard. But I don't think I can now that the flowers are here. No. I broke geometry before, but now I can't. Oh yes, don't forget to find the person the archaeologist asked you to. Right, I almost forgot. See, I'm useful. I can be your personal reminder for things. I don't need any talking swords for secretaries, thank you very much. Didn't mean to go out. No. I want to climb in there, though. But I can't. She fixed the glitch, and I can't get back there anymore. I'm still talking in Zordy's voice, and it hurts. Stone. I have complaints, but I'll keep quiet for now. Hello. Ah, you seem like a fellow assassin, here to repent. Hey, just because we happen to share the same taste in clothing, doesn't mean we're in the same class. No, pity. Are you an assassin, Arthur? No, too edgy. Nope. She's really pretty, though. past the candles. I want to talk to this person. Welcome to the house of the goddess, lost lamb. Hey, I'm at least a fox. How may we be of assistance? Oh, and please keep your distance, cursed one. So you can tell. Hmm, that is quite potent. It is best you speak with father. It's amazing how she hasn't opened her eyes once. Ah, oh, you're right, good eye. I'm borrowing yours. I had a hard time speaking in her high in the high voice after all of all the all the swordy voice. Well all the swordy voice. Swordy. Welcome. How may I help you? I made him sound older than he really looks. Can you people really tell when a person's cursed? Ah, uh, so you seek benediction. What? No, sorry, I don't need any divine protections. I'm fine with my curse. I'm just worried if people can tell I'm cursed. Are there any signs I should hide? The goddess has blessed our humble eyes with supernatural sight. We are capable of seeing your aura. Oh, that's it? The normal people can't see I'm cursed, right? Your arm pit. <laughs> Excuse me? Normal people can tell by your arm pit. <laughs> Maybe he's just messing with you and has a kink instead. Are you just messing me with me and have a weird kink instead? I am answering your question. If you do not wish to believe me, then please check your arm pit yourself. No, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Does your curse have a mark on my armpit? I'm afraid I don't know. This is my first time cursing someone. Are you serious? About your cursed sword. I suggest you find one of the three sorcerers. Feels like I've heard of them before. Yes, I told you about them back at the caves. Shh, you're too loud. He knows I'm cursed already, so what's the problem? Seek the great sage, Rai. She is known to be well-versed with items. Out of the three, she is your best bet. For what? Guidance of your future. She is a seer. She will help you. Like a prophecy? Nope. I refuse. Goodbye. Keep the great sage dry. The right sage dry. Dry. Ooh, my throat. Good day, stranger. Do you have time to listen in the name of the Lord Moon whatever? No. Stop by in our cathedral, nevertheless. Our doors are open to everyone. Even for a cursed young man like you. Huh? He knew. That's amazing. Hey, what'd you say about me being cursed? People of the clock can tell in a glance. If you don't need if you need guidance, do come to our cathedral in the east. Hmm. No, oh, I can walk right through the benches. Oh. 
We'll walk through this part of the bench. Not this one. Oh. Oh, I found another glitch. Cool. What is this strange object? Look, if I pull and push this handle here. Gasp! Water came out. Yeah, you wash your feet with this. Like when you get sand stuck in your toes. How incredible. Oh, there's something written here. Oh, you're right, let's see. Gear up and heal before heading north. Is that a warning? Sounds like it, but who keeps writing these things? Hiya! Whoa there, kid. Careful with that sword. Oh, I see you too have a sword. Unsheathe it and let's duel! And why would I do that? What are you even doing swinging around such a dangerous thing? My mom owns a weapons store to the southeast. I know my way around a sword. Don't worry. That doesn't excuse what you're doing. Stop that or I'll tell your mother. Sheesh, you're no fun. Look, this is a fake, see? Try holding it. Oh, it's light. Well, duh. I can't hold up an actual sword, obviously. I'm like seven. You're right. Sorry. Can I still see your sword? No. Bye. You're so mean. Hiya. Uh-oh. Uh the whole dialogue. All over again. Oh, no. Oh, no. I keep doing this. Nah. Oh, Fountain. You look pure, pur purdy today. Mysterious Traveler. A dragon sculpture. Do you want to know its history and the prophecy surrounding it? Not in a million years. Goodbye. He looks like the sword who gives you side quests, huh? Hence why I'm avoiding any him and anyone like him. You have problems, Arthur. No, just traumas. Mm hmm. Hello there! Are you waiting for someone, ma'am? Why, yes, my son is scheduled to land any time today! He goes out to sea for many months, you see. I see. Hope you get to meet with him soon. Thank you kindly! You said you're not good with people, but you're actually very nice, huh? What makes you think this isn't a front to get people to trust me? Goodness, you're unnecessarily complicated, Arthur. Uh oh, same text. Same text. Ugh. Will this guy give me the same text? Yep, okay, same text. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Tenji, nice. A bucket, let's smash it. Oh, I can't get to the jar thing behind it. Bear and foot. Let's go to the front voice. West, drop in. Bottoms up bar to the north. What's up with these names? Ah. Oh, is there anything in the well? What is this? A well, you draw water from it. There's water underground? I found you in a room full of water. Right? Oh, can't go that way. Okay. Blocked my path. Let's go into the drop-in. Welcome to the drop-in! What is wrong? This innkeeper is wrong. Look at how much she's overcharging in that log. I'm more impressed that you can read things upside down, Arthur. Whoops. Playing with a controller doesn't always go the way I want it to. Welcome to the drop-in. 100G for one night. Would you like to stay? 100G, that's so expensive. Are you interested in going to the bar? It's connected to our inn at the back. These are children's books. Oh, you're familiar with them? Yes, quite a lot. How does a talking sword cursed at that know about children's books? I wonder as well. I live those, I've lived so long I don't remember. Hmm. It's really strange how I'm not familiar with some type, some things here. Like what? Look at this calendar book. I haven't heard of any of these months, nor the celebrations listed here. Maybe they say it differently from where you came from. The number of months and dates are almost the same, so I guess I don't have too much to worry about. Hey ma'am, what date is today? Today is the 20th of Demi Demiurge. 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 Uh, here, a picture of the dog. Month of the dog? All the months have animal motifs. Yours do not? No. Well, 
And we do have years representing certain animals. I think our months were named after gods and numbers. Wow, you must teach me about it later. Why do I have to tutor a sword? Oh ho, you want to steal tea? No, the pot and cup. They still have tea in them. Nah. Hey Arthur, do you read a lot? Sort of. You must know a lot of things. Yeah, but experience has helped me more than any books can. Comfortable cushion. Oh, what a comfortable cushion. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Seems to be torn to help wanted posters. Let's avoid that hole for a moment. These letters are stacked very neatly. Hmm, high chances the recipients are not here or long gone. Huh, how can you tell? They're yellowing and they're still sealed. I believe the innkeeper puts it here so people who knew these adventurers can collect them. That's somewhat sad. It happens when you're an adventurer from, who has a family who write home from an inn. Families of adventurers tend to write back to every inn the adventurer visits, hoping one gets to their hands. Goodness, are you one of these people, Arthur? Of course not. I'm the guy who delivered these letters, so I know. Arthur leaned down. Mm, flowers smell nice. Mm, I really should start investing in money to buy a tent or a sleeping bag. Why? Inns are expensive. Their rooms aren't even designed well. Hmm. I don't recognize that smell. It's just water. Probably. I like flowers now. Flowers are spared from sortie smash. <laughs> That's great, but don't smash in the first place. Are you going to steal again? No, I can tell this inn doesn't have anything, just capitalism. Oops. Oh no. I've broken geometry again. Oh no. That was weird. Hey Arthur, if I was made as a cupboard and cursed you, how would you carry me? Are you imagining I'd carry you on my back? I do want to drop in, because this is the drop in. Ow, is this why they call this place drop in? Mm. Yes. Wow, how fun. <laughs> With how much they're charging, can't they invest in some stairs? Lock. Aren't you a thief? Why, yes. I am. Fancy shoy. Hello, bling. Ooh, once you wear it, when you wear it, can I see it? Uh, thanks for supporting my no good deeds, talking sword. What? I just want to see how funny you must look wearing that. Hey. Have you noticed how these people look more like a hero than you? How many times must I tell you I'm not a hero? Huh? How'd you get into this room? The door was locked. Uh, sorry ma'am, I'm the handyman. I'm here for my daily inspection in case there will be earthquakes. Oh, I see. We are underground after all. Yes, there will be severe casualties if I don't do my job. Do you mind? Feel free. Ignore my husband sleeping there. Arthur, do you often do this? As long as there are gullible people, I thrive. Okay. Nap. Ah. Empty. Like Arthur's head. Hey. No thoughts, head empty, only money. I'm pretty sure that guy down over there used to be breaking geometry all the time. I see he's been fixed. Nothing, this room's pretty bare for 100G a night. Maybe you should sleep outside next time. Yeah, I'm seriously considering it. Ugh, moldy. Maybe you should wash his clothes for him. Do I look like the charitable sort? Hey, Sonny! <laughs> want some drinks? Bar's the other building, old man. What was that? You want my hand? <laughs> You're very handsome, Sonny, but I'm married. Why would I... Are you not attracted to older men? Why are you asking me as if my answer isn't obvious enough? Just some reading glasses. Yet there are no books here. Suspicious. Oh, finally, a map I can read. Let's see. Huh? I can't find my own land. This map must be outdated. So many smashable objects. Why are there so many down here? How'd he even get down here? He's so old. Locked. 
Ooh, do the thing again. Why are you so interested in my lock picking? I'm fascinated by how dexterous your hands are. Well, you're going to get bored fast. Ah! Huh, what happened? Is that your face, Arthur? Huh? Oh, that's right. You only see through my eyes, huh? My reflection scared you? Yes, I was surprised. This is the first time I've seen you, Arthur. Hello, Arthur. Um, hi. You look much younger than I expected, though that explains why you're so stupid. Hey, I'm right here. It's okay, Arthur. You're not bad looking. You think that'll make me feel better after calling me stupid? Nope, same text. Ah, shit. I wonder where she got these books. She? The innkeeper. These are all books you wouldn't find in a random inn. Hmm, maybe she collects them from travelers. Ooh, what's in the satchels? By the weight of it, I'm guessing. Yep, knickknacks. Some buttons, dice, coins, lint. Seems like things a child would store as their treasure. Yeah, I don't even want to take these few coins. There's a bathrobe, but no bathroom. What is with the architecture of this floor? It seems like they are trying. Design it properly. Can we go down? Yeah, I don't want to drop in anymore. You suppose there are more rooms down there? Hugely likely. This is the last time I'm visiting an underground inn. I wonder if this is a conscious design or they just can't afford stairs. I feel like digging a whole place out underground is possibly more expensive than just making stairs. Uh, no. Should I try staying for the night? How much money do I have? Five hundred G. You tearfully paid 100 G. Have a nice drop! Music. I'm in this crappy room. I don't suppose anything else happens. Okay. Well. Did it for the experience. Welcome to the Bottoms Up Bar, honey. This music takes a while to play. Okay. Nice handwriting. What makes a handwriting nice? Hmm, good question. I guess it's the state of readability. Like anything to eat, sugar? We're having a lunch special. Oh, I thought this was a bar. We're both a bar and a restaurant. There's only one chef in the back, and she's very ambitious. Oh, I like ambitious people. Let's go see the chef. Eyeing my money, honey. Yeah, how much do, they, do you make per day? Depending on what day the ship lands, it ranges between 800 G and 6,000 G. That's a lot of Gs. GG. <laughs> Servers wanted poster. Have you ever worked as a server, Arthur? Yeah, but I didn't last long. Not finesse enough. Not enough finesse? It's still odd to me that I don't recognize any of these brands. Do you usually? Well, no, but something usually rings some bells in my head. I know a variety of random things I picked up, after all. A big plate! Makes you wonder what would fit on this giant plate. So many plates, is she cooking alone? Ah oh, yes, my favorite fruit. They're so shiny, like gems. 
It's nice, right? You know what's nicer than apples? Stole three red apples. Stolen apples. This book's so worn, must be used a lot. What does it say? I think it's a recipe for curry? Oh, look, there's a footnote at the bottom. Love is the greatest ingredient, signed by Tsuki. Do you think this might be the chef's ancestor? Probably. A bag of gold. Golden grains. I have three generations worth of cooking knowledge from my family's journals. They wrote all these recipes with such loving care, I decided to personally print them as a book for easy reference. Now my goal in life is to make other people taste the genius that is my family's generations worth of cooking trials. It's really cool. Good luck. Everyone is leading their own life head on. It makes me spirited to see. That's rich coming from a sword that cursed me. Clean sink, organized cooking space. This girl knows what she's doing. Are these animals? Those are clams. They're sea creatures. They look like tiny turtles. Tiny turtles. Your reflection from the bottle is very funny. You find enjoyment in the simplest things, huh? What, it, what is this? This is a tear cake. It's just ba sweet baked food topped with cream, sugar, and fruit. Clouds. Oh, I feel bad looking at its eyes. There's a thing back in my land where we describe a certain view with fisheye. Cut. Absolutely not. I'd have to wipe all of that grease off you. This is... bread? Mm, I guess pizza can be considered bread. You're sort of right. A flat bread, but with colors on top of it. Looks like cheese, tomato, basil, and olive oil. Classic margarita pasta. Pizza. Blech. This is bread, but it smells like apples. How could you not know what apple pie is? This is an insult to apples everywhere. Wow, look, it's golden rice. Silly, this is fried rice. You mix rice with egg and fry it. Ooh, genius. Human beings are bad at a lot of things, but our evolution in cooking all around the world is top tier. Delicious. It does look delicious. I think it's the way she eats that makes it look delicious. Do you think she'll let me cut the fish from her? Cut the fish for her before she chokes on it? Whoop. Uh oh. The mushroom tastes great as always, huh, Grandpa? When you're big enough, I'll teach you how to cook all the things we've grown. Yeah, then we don't need to come here and I can cook for you and Grandma at home. We supply the chef here with our homegrown products, and in turn, we get our meals for free. I'm a farmer, but these old bones can't handle holding up a hoe for long anymore. So I'm teaching everything I know to my granddaughter here. Every day she grows more reliable. Aren't you, Liziki? Yes, I'll grow strong and smart to help you and Grandma. May nature guide you, my girl. Oh. Sometimes, I feel like... Even normal people who have no prior battle experience lead a much more fulfilling life than heroes. Is it because they're truly living for themselves instead of following some kind of predetermined destiny? What, mm, what do you think of that, Arthur? He's tantalizingly close to getting to the point. What do you think is inside this? Hmm, I'm guessing some kind of brew, like a drink. Oh, I thought it's something else. Why would something else be in there like that? I've knocked down jars. Oh, whoops, wrong voice. I've knocked down jars like these several times by banging against the wall. It's dangerous to put these up here. Why were you banging the wall? Why indeed? Hi, sorry, if it doesn't sound good, I'm still practicing. It's fine, you're good. It sounds bouncy, chaotic, and somewhat feral. Thank you! I'm Lu Ting Chen. This is my cover from a song I've heard. Let's have a wonderful opportunity today. Okay. Bread. I think that's called a croissant in some places. Croissant! The pianist is young, but very skilled. I try to come whenever they're scheduled to play the piano to watch their growth. Yes. Seems like an impressive collection. 
of glass. No, the drinks. Hundred G. Who would stash money up here? Never underestimate a human brain. Are you also dim? Possibly. Well, that paid for my night at the end, at least. <laughs> okay. I'm going to... I think I can sell the shirt that I got, probably. Yeah? Not as good. I don't think I can go to the farm still, so... What is this? Seems like a map of places in town. Oh look, the beach is to the north. 